In today's video, I won't stop opening packs until I pull insane Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What's up guys, we're back with another I Won't Stop opening video. Before we get into it, I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. You have two first edition originals, the Shinado King of the Higher Plane, one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below how many packs you think it'll take till we get to our threshold, which I'm gonna tell you about in just a second. And let me know your favorite pack we opened today. <sighs> I can't believe you missed it. What, Ruxin? What I missed? My last whatnot stream, it was amazing. But don't worry, we have another one coming up next Thursday, April 13th. You might be asking, what is Whatnot? Whatnot is an app where you can live stream your auctions live, as well as do buy it now and have listings on a live marketplace. We did a stream last Thursday and I sold a ton of stuff on my buy it now, my live auctions, and a lot of you guys showed up and it was a lot of fun. You can check out my live stream by going to my link down below. You can also find people like Team Samurai and Simply Unlucky on there, they stream as well. And not only can you buy awesome stuff on the platform, you can also win awesome stuff in giveaways. Last time we gave away over $500 in cards. And if you guys want to win something for free, go check out my next live stream as well. And I forgot to mention the best part. Use my link down below. You get $15 for free when you make your first purchase on whatnot. It can be with me. It can be with someone else like Simply Unlucky or Sam. So make sure you guys come to the live stream Thursday, April 13th. It's going to be at 5 p.m. Central, just like the last one we did. If you guys were here, it's going to be insane. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of big cards coming up. A lot of big cards being given away. So I hope to see you there. Thanks again to whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, today we're doing another series where normally I would be like, I'm not going to stop opening until I pull Collector Rare or Gosher or something like that. But I've decided to switch this up a little bit because sometimes when you do those, you know, you just kind of get that one pull and then it's kind of over. I wanted to switch up the series and do it a little bit differently. So for this one, I have a wide variety of packs, including Ghost Rare Packs, Collector Rare Packs, Starlight Rare Packs, Ultimate Rare Packs. And there's going to be a point system based on the cards that we pull. So for a non-guaranteed Ultra Rare, it's going to be one point. And then for Secret Rares, it'll be two points. Ultimate Rares will be three points. Collector Rares will be four. Ghost Rares are going to be six points and a Starlight Rare will give you a massive 10 points. I'm not going to stop opening until we have 12 total points pulled here. So if we even if we pull a Starlight right off the bat, we're not done because we have to pull something else like another Secret Rare or something like that. We'll have to pull 12 Ultras to finish. We'll have to pull six Secrets. We'd have to pull like four different Ultimate Rares or just a combination of all of those. I feel like it'll be more fun because then it's like we could have multiple awesome pulls and still not in the video. So let's just start it out now and make sure to let me know down in the comments. What do you think about this system? Uh, maybe you could tweak it a little bit with a different idea. I love to read different ideas and, you know, brainstorm how we could do these videos and make them more interesting. Let's start Started off with a Photon Hypernova first edition pack. So in here we could pull a Starlight Rare. That would be 10 total points, which would be insane. We're trying to get 12. They will be popping up on the screen, so you don't really have to remember the points or anything. And we're going to 12, so keep that in mind. That should be on the screen. It's gonna say 12 points to end the video. But until then, we're just going to keep opening. So it could go for a long time because six secret rares is no big, like that's not easy to do. I would have a super rare point system, but I think all these packs here do not have like non-guaranteed supers or whatever. So Ghost from the past, I, this is the first one. So these are really hard to pull ghost rares out of here. I think I said six for ghost rares, right? Yeah, I decided on six because starlight rares are hard to pull. Uh, these are hard to pull as well, but not nearly as hard as a starlight rare. They're like twice as hard. So I made it not quite twice as much but it's still very very hard shooting star dragon so these are as i said non-guaranteed ultras give you a point so although these don't count as points because they're guaranteed ultra rares i cracked into a box of dawn of majesty just for this so maybe we'll pull the starlight stardust and get rewarded for doing that but i cracked into some boxes that i had laying around just for this video which was probably a terrible idea because you know dawn of majesty has terrible terrible value when you open it up alien stealth but there, there's nothing good in there except the starlights jar of generosity and uh, ooh, a despian quertus maybe i made the right decision guys this is an ultra rare very nice i grabbed a few packs from that box it looks like i grabbed something with an ultra rare in it very very good that's one point our first point of the video and when i say there's nothing good in these i don't mean like no good cards i just mean like the values are not there at the moment because they've been reprinted which you guys know for the most part some of you guys actually play the game i feel like most of you guys are more like collectors but at this point, I've been playing a lot myself on Twitch. So go check that out. Twitch.tv slash Ruxin34. Master Duel. It's been a lot of fun. So I can't say I don't play anymore. I've been, uh, oh, we got something. Wait, no, we, no, we didn't maybe. With it, I think Tactical Masters is always at the end. I can't remember. 
yeah, Labyrinth Labyrinth. So that is, that's just a super rare, guaranteed, you know, no big deal. I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh, guys, so, so I, I don't know. It's weird. It's like a crisis. It's like, instead of being just a collector, I've actually been playing the game. It's very strange. Blackwing, Zephyros, the Elite. It's been a lot of fun. We've been playing some really meme decks with, like, the perfectly ultimate Grey Moth. I think I'm going to try Blue Eyes Shining. Uh, maybe we've tried that already by the time you see this. Oh, Ruxin Special. Right into the Ultra Rare Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid Neo Tempest Terra Hertz. This name is so big that they've like squished it. it like the, the text seems like it's very skinny. You can barely read it from here. Look how hard that is to read. It's too much text. That's our second ultra rare though. That's two points. All right, great start guys. We are pulling stuff left and right. All right, let's see if we can get to 12 points here and see if we can do it. So far, nothing huge though. We have contract with Aqu Aquamira, the Photon Sanctuary and a Scareclaw Castira. So another super rare that is guaranteed. So no big deal there. It's not gonna be adding any value or anything like that, but or in terms of uh, numbers, not necessarily value, but we will of course still have the prices popping up during this video, but they're not gonna matter as much. It's about the points. Mechlord Fortress, Jin's Objector. We have Token Sunday, Ra's Disciple, and we have a wild monster appears. Oh, actually wait, there is a, f there is a non-guaranteed super. It's in Legendary Duelist, but too late. They don't get any points. Maybe we can give them a respectable like 0.1 points just for fun. Okay, we have Tactical Masters up next. We have Bear Blocker, Pendulum Fusion, Trap Trick, Labyrinth Ku Clock, Duelist Alliance, the Astrograph Sorcerer, and Runic Flashing Fire, another super rare. All right, we're still looking, still searching. Now we have Dimension Force. Not a fantastic set, but I didn't really pull a lot of Starlights from this set. So if you know, I'm searching for every Starlight rare ever made. Like I want to pull all of them. So if I could pull one here that I've not pulled, that would add to our tally of 40 Starlight rares that we've pulled. Sierra Claw Astra, Musico Sumo, the Therion. Also, I don't know if you guys heard, but there may or may not even be Starlights this year in the rest of the sets, which will help me you know, catch up, which is nice. And a, okay, we got another super rare. No big deal out of Dimension Force. We did pull the reverse jar though, which is pretty classic. So I like that. And of course we have to have amazing defenders. Wouldn't be an amazing opening without an amazing defenders pack. Let's see if we can pull something amazing. I'm gonna say that every time I open this set, I can't help it. Sprite's Blessing, Stray Pearly, Rescue Ace Fire Attacker. There's another X Pearly Noir, another super rare. All right, we started off pretty hot with two ultras, but we have definitely slowed down. Ghost from the past. Will you bless us with a ghost rare dark magician? I would love that. That would be amazing. Also, it would give us six points. We still wouldn't even be done, which would be pretty wild. We have Metafalls. We have a... Starry Night Flamel. Okay, all ultra rares guaranteed. No big deal. Let's try another Dimension Force because I have a few of those. I'm interested to see if like all the packs I have right now, is it enough to get 12 points? I really don't know. I was trying to figure out a good number to actually do. Like I was like, yeah, I could do one where it's like a Starlight wins it. But then I'm like, no, that's not fun because like the whole point is like that you don't need one card to actually, you know, finish it. Scareclaw Acro, I'm Rux and Special. And that was a super Rux and Special. General Probe, uh, Crow Tengu, Therion Stand Up, and... Uh, Another super. A secret rare would be great because that'd be two points. All right, Rage of Raw. I forgot about your non-guaranteed super rares. I hate to say it, I, but that kind of works out better because I was going to have ultras as two and we don't have four points. I think that'd be a little bit too easy. Holding legs because ultra rares are really not that hard to pull. Reboot. Psychic Mega Cyber. So you know what is hard to pull? Anything out of Rage of Raw. All right, guys. Had to take the sweatshirt off because let me tell you, opening packs, it's a workout, okay? It's strenuous. I've been telling you guys that. This is not a cushy job, okay? We got a lot going on. Look, you see what I have to do? You see this at motion I'm doing with my hand? Very tiring, okay? Abyss Actor. We have Giant Ball Game. Giant Ball Game. Nice. Ball Drake, Light of the Branded. We have a, oh, Ultra Rare. Levitian, Generator, Boss of the Shadows. That's an Ultra Rare. So far, all Ultras. I'm going to pull 12 Ultras. That'd be weird. Dawn of Majesty. You already blessed us with one Ultra. Now just give us a Starlight Rare. It'd be over if we got a Starlight Rare. We, we are in buzzer beater range. We are in game winning shot range. It's like when you're playing pickup basketball. It's a win by four. You know, you, you've got, uh, you're one point up. If you had a three, you win the whole thing. That's what's going on right here. Okay, Life Twin Sunny Snitch. Not a bad super rare, but still no points. Tactical Masters, let's go. Can we get a collector rare? That's four points. I give this more than an ultimate rare because we only have OTS packs for ultimate rares. And uh, those are pretty, they're a lot easier to pull in terms of number of packs versus, there's a drone lockbird. I'm going to pull that out. Uh, scapegoat, Absolute King, Backjack, and a Valence, another super rare. With these ultimate rares, like it's one in 16 or 17 packs versus a collector rare is like one in uh, 72. So it's a lot harder. So it really should probably be more than four points. This should probably only be two points, but we're going to play it as it's three. I think it's still fair to be three because the secret rare is one in 12. It's a little bit harder to pull than that. Plus it's an ulti. I mean, come on. We've got to give it some respect. All right. We're still at three points, guys. We are nine points away. This could be a long video. Like if we go at this pace, it's going to be a very long video, but I'm going to keep opening until we make it happen. 
Sometimes the long videos are fun. Infra Noble Arms, one for one. That's a super rare. I think it's a super rare, not the collector rare, right? It, I don't know. It looks kind of shiny, but it's definitely not a collector rare. Okay, we got that one down. Back to Photon Hypernova, first edition. Will we pull something amazing? One, two, three, four. Starlight Rare. You can end it right here. We have a couple of aces. The Minoruku. Vala, Ice Shade Manifestation, the Yagamaru, Photon Emperor, Intimidating Ore, Meteor Rush, and Choju of the Trillion Hands. For those ritual decks out there, let's go. Ghost from the Past 1. Not Ghost from the Past 2, Ghost from the Past 1. We're going back. I should have done 2 because it'd be a little bit easier to pull a Ghost Share, but this one, if we do pull a Ghost Share, it's going to be a banger. Sun Avalon, Dryas, Update Jammer. Update Jammer for those access code decks. That's not bad. We have a Hero Zenru and a Dragoonie Whirlwind. I think it's like, think the Ghost Share is at the end. This card's good for... Uh, what deck were we using that in? I think a math mech. Yeah, that's pretty good. Dimension Force. Let's go. First edition. Give us that ghost spell that we have never pulled. I would love to pull that. That'd be really amazing. Can we pull something good here? One, two, three, four. So far, three points. Not bad, but also not great. Let's see. We have the Al Gol, the Divine Dragon, Scareclaw, Heroic Champion, Ice Trade Cruise. Negromancer realized, man, we are not really pulling fire today. <laughs> we're pulling a little bit slow. I mean, it's been ult only ultras, not even a secret rare yet. Got a variety here, but we're hoping to do better than this. We have a Labyrinth Ku Clock, Malice Lady of Lament, Imperial Iron Wall, Lilith, Labyrinth, Seon, Labyrinth, Labyrinth. By the way, I did almost complete my Labyrinth deck. I'm missing two Garura, the Wind Spirit for the extra deck, I think. That's the old one, the, the Wind Spirit, whatever the, the retrain is, the fusion one. Uh, Mud Dragon, the Swamp. I think it's just used to pitch with... Uh, Dogmatica stuff or uh dog what punishment? Am I using punishment? I can't remember. Okay, Scare Clock Astro. I think it is punishment, yeah, because we have Intus in the deck. Yeah. Alright, ghost from the past ones. A lot of you guys, if you don't play, you're like, what are you talking about? Yeah. So in that case, yeah. Maybe, maybe hop on the Twitch stream. You can me you know, see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll figure it out. I know it's confusing at the beginning, but it is fun if you get into it. Okay, another ultra rare guaranteed stuff. No big deal. Amazing defenders. Give us something amazing. Come on. Let's go. You know they did it on purpose, okay? You know they did it on purpose. We have the Makongo. Extinguish with those fire hydrants. The map, we have Infernoble Arms, Overlay Region. Also, opening these Collector Rare sets makes uh, Ultra Rares even harder to pull, you know? Because uh, Ultra Rares are not 1 in 12. That's old. Ultra Rares are 1 in one in like six in the uh you know main sets but then in here they're one in eight so they're actually a lot harder but if you add those together there's a solemn judgment it's a good card but it's not a point so in this set dimension force it is a main set so they're one in six to get an ultra rare so it's a lot easier in one of these than a collector rare sets one in eight so not a lot but it's a little bit harder we have musical sumo reverse jar again ichu ichiroku's ledger book the therion bull war rock medium Extra pendulum. Wow, we are on a really cold streak right now. This is crazy. Okay, I was I was like slightly worried that we'd pull like a starlight in the first five minutes and just end it, but I, I think that worry is gone. This might end up now. I'm to a new worry. 45 minute video. That's the new worry. We have Mechlord, the token stampede, Astro Dragon. There's another Mechlord. That's a super, but it doesn't count for anything because I didn't say it did at the beginning. So that stinks. Dawn of Majesty. Come on, baby. You blessed us with one of our three points. We need something here. One, two, three, four, let's go. We have Branded Bond, Majestic Absorption, the Chronomaly, the Psycho, the Figures, Alien Stealth Buster, Flying Red Carp, the Despia Theater, the Branded, uh, and a Branded Opening. Who remembers when this was a $25 card? I remember when I found 70 of them in my bulk. That was great. Maze of Memories, I believe you, I believe in you to give me some memories that I will never forget. Here we go. In the memory, we'll be pulling another Baron Collector like we did the other day. We have Photon Orbital, Imperial Iron Wall, Swap Book of Fate. Okay. We have not pulled a point in lots of packs. But don't worry. Ghosts from the Past. Problem with Ghosts from the Past, it's literally all or nothing. If we don't pull a Ghost Rare, it can't give us a point because the rest are guaranteed Ultra Rares. So we just have to hope that we picked a very good box with packs in it that has a Ghost Rare and that is not it. Okay. Photon Hypernova. 12 points may have been too much. Maybe maybe Starlight Rare should have ended it. Or maybe I should have given Starlight Rare less points or something. But Starlights are so hard to pull and so unlikely to be pulled. I figured they should, like, give us a lot of points. So maybe it should have been, like, Starlight could end it. But that's the only thing. Photon Emperor. We have Gigantic Thundercross. Ooh, a big welcome Labyrinth. There we go. That's a good card. That is officially our fourth point. Very nice. This is going to be interesting if we pull 12 Ultra Rares. I mean, I don't know how many packs that'll take, though. That's a lot. All right, speaking of Welcome Labyrinth, let's see if we can pull the regular Welcome Labyrinth. Not the big one, just the regular-sized one. Come on. Give us a Collector Rare. That'd be great. Invader of Darkness, Cosmic Cyclone, Senate Switch, Lilith, Trap Trick, Valence. 
Valence World. It's always Valence, man. These things are everywhere. Valence, super rare. Dawn of Majesty, you can do this. You can bless us with a Starlight Stardust. I would be okay to pull that right now and in this. One, two, three, four. Come on, Starlight Stardust. That'd be insane. Goki finishing move. I still need a PSA 10 because mine graded a 9, so I still have the 9. Sandbell, Jar of Generosity, two Toads. Two Toads with one Sting. I don't remember that card. That's hilarious. Slower Swallow. There's some weird names in this one. And... Ooh, a secret rare, our first one. Ready Fusion. This was a big card when it first came out, but of course got a reprint in, I think, the Mega 10. So two points. We're up to six points. We are halfway there. All right, not bad, not bad. We'll take that. We're up to six points. No huge pulls yet, though. That's what we're kind of open for here. Let's see, let's see if we can Ghost Rare. Ghost Rare can end it now. We are in Ghost Rare three-point buzzer beater range. Let's see. We have Dragonity Remus. That was a good card when it first came out. It was like 20 bucks. I think it's still a few bucks, though. All right, amazing to finish. A Collector Rare could put us up to 10 points. It would be really good. We've been seeing Secret rare range to win it all. It'd be great. We have the uh, reinforcement of the army, tribal rivals, pearly happy memories, the great Makonko. Okay, the yeah, pearly pump. Very nice. Plump, I should say. It's different. Back to OTS 21. This has ultis inside, which, uh, you know, three points. That's pretty big. We have a mischief of the gnomes, the Testudo Arad Newman, and uh, Tobari the Sky Ninja, another super rare. All right, Ghost Rare, Wing Dragon of Raw could end this thing. That would be a good way to end. I'd be down for that. Ghost Rare, Wing Dragon of Raw, that would be pretty amazing. Jinzo, we have Jinzo Jector, Holding Arms, Jinzo Returner, and a Wild Monster appears. That is not a Ghost Rare Raw. Speaking of Ghost Rares, let's try another Ghost from the Past. One, not Ghost from the Past, two, the original, the OG, Ghost from the Past, Starry Night Blast, The Dragon, Time Thief Redoer, Danger Thunderbird. Love all of all Salamander. I haven't pulled a Ghost Rare from Ghost from the Past like one or two in a very long time. Dimension Force, Starlight Rare. I'm down for a Starlight Rare. I'm always down for a Starlight Rare, let's be honest. I don't know a situation where I would not want a Starlight Rare. I really can't think of one. We have a Sunlit Sentinel, Symphonic Warrior. Unless it's like, if you pull a Starlight Rare, we, you will die. That is the only thing. Royal Champion, we have a Scareclaw, Battle Guard, Cadet, Ichiro's, or not Ichiro, Ichiraku's Ledger Book, and a Curse of Dragon, the Magical Knight Dragon. Very, very cool name. Come on, Razor Raw. I believe in you. You can do this. You can end this thing with a Ghost Rare Wing Dragon of Raw. We have Juragato, Army of Grinnell, Amplifier. Oh, an Ultra Rare. Mechlord, Astro Dragon, Triskelion. That is one point. We're up to seven points, guys. We are getting there five points away from our goal. All right, I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling good with seven points. We're still only in Ghost Rare and Starlight Rare range, but we are making our way up to 12. We have Time Space Trap Hole. If we get an Ultimate Rare here, we're at 10 points. Let's see. No, Tabari again. Classic. The same Super Rare from OTS. Who would have thought? Back to the Ghost. I'm just hoping that we can we can rip a Ghost and just win this thing. Not literally rip, because that would be bad. We have a Metaphors Gold Driver. Time Thief Flyback. The Lady Volcan... Vol... Laval? Not Lady. Laval Volcano Handmaiden. We got it. Fairy Tale Tales. And a Helshinal Hollow. That sounds like a, like, Halloween kind of thing. Now that I'm saying that, I think that might be a Halloween archetype. That might be the one with, like, the jack o -lanterns. Or is that... I don't know. I can't keep up. There's too many archetypes, guys. We have Sprite's Blessing. Perleep. We have the Grand Mechanico Ceremony. The Xyz Import. That is another super rare. Raynod. Okay. Nothing good out of the Collector Rare Packs today, apparently. Dot of Majesty. We've already got a Secret Rare and an Ultra out of here. So now we just need a Starlight Rare. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have a Gunkin Sioux Ship Daily Special. The Temple. The Trithalon. The Margin Trader. Bucks and Special. We have Master Diplo Man. Gunkin Sioux Ship. The Despia. Glacier Aquaman Door. DDD Different Dimension Derby. And uh, Despian Proskinion. That is a super rare. Maze of Memories. Here we go. What will we do? Will we pull a Collector Rare? We're at seven points. That would get us up to 11 points. That would be close. Magnite Blue Sky. Overload Fusion. Rucks and special right past the red eye soul overlay network. No, we will not get a collector rare out of that one at least. Dimension Force. Starlight rare potential in here. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Will we get the Therion King Regulus? Starlight rare. Scareclaw. Omega Judgment. We have a Rux and Special right past that. Crotengu. VLAN Hydra. Heroic Challenger, and an ultra rare Weather Painter Moonbow. That puts us at eight points. We are now in Collector Rare for the win range. So we'll go for an Ultimate Rare real quick, just, just for fun, just to see if we can get it. Can we get an Ultimate Rare out of here for three points? Network Trap Hole, Gishki Aquamir, and uh, no, we can get a token, which is uh, much worse. But a Ghost Rare could still end it. So Collector Rare, Ghost Rare, and Starlight Rare can end the opening. If we pull them, we have a Mechlord Fortress, the Mechanicalel, the Jinzo Lord, 
Mechlord Army of Wizzell with Machior the Destructor, Arada. So, okay, whatever. Speaking of collector rares, can we get one out of Tactical Masters? Come on, Tactical Masters. Bless us with a masterful pull. Pendulum Switch, Malice Lady of Lament, Nozuki, Valence, Runic Slumber, Runic Smiting, Labyrinth Setup. It's just a super rare. Ghost from the Past Uno. Can we pull the Ghost, Cypher Blade Dragon, Metafoles, Artifact Durandal, Miss Valley Baby Rock, and a Time Thief Double Barrel. Okay. More guaranteed ultras. Photon Hypernova, you've been pretty quiet today. Can you pull us something big? Can you pull us something hyper? I don't know what that means. Here we go. Exc like so an excited card. I don't know what's going on. We get the Fanging, the Time Stop, Dramatic Story, Gishki Grimness, Overlap, Galaxy 100, and the Quardon, the Clear Sight. He never had glasses. All right, Amazing Defenders. Can you give us a Pearly Collector Rare? That card's actually expensive now, so that would be a pretty nice one. Any Pearly Collector Rares we'd be down for. That would also end the opening. We have Gizmek Orochi. Tribe Arrivals. Contain. We have a Ruxin Special right to the Super Rare. Okay. Ruin that one. I can't help it with these new packs, guys. I just can't. Speaking of new packs, we have Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw, which is like three years old, so it's not even that new anymore. Pretty unnew, actually. Maybe the oldest pack we're opening right now. We have Mechlord Emperor Skiel, Brain Control, Holding Legs, Resolute Mechlord Army, and uh, a Cosmic Channeling. Wow, we are still looking. What are we at? Eight points. Photon Hypernova. Are you going to bless us with something good right here? One, two, three, four. Gonna turn into a longer opening. Hope you had your popcorn prepared just in case. Probably might have checked the length of the video at the beginning. A Mr. Baldrake, Exceeds a Lion, Land Flipping, Numeron Creation, and a Queen Butterfly, Danaeus. Oh, an insect. Very cool. All right, Ghost from the Past one. Let's go. What will we pull? Will it be the Dark Magician? That'd be quite the way to end it. Dark Magician, Time Thief Flyback. We have the Handmaiden again, Fairy Tale, Starry Night Blast. Starry Night Sky. So Starry Nights are definitely in this set. We know that for sure. Let's go back to Maze of Memories. Can we end it with a Collector Rare, guys? Are we actually just going to pull lower rarity stuff? Because that could happen. You know, so we pull enough of it. Battle Royale Mode, The Wall Shadow, Time to Stand Up, Super Soldier Ritual, Number 39, Utopia Rising. That's a super rare. Whew, we have gone through a lot of packs today, guys. Let's go back to Legendary Duelist Rage Raw. See if we can get that Ghost Rare, Winged Dragon of Raw, Holding Legs, Reboot, Mind Control... Brain control and a lot of control going on here. That's all I can tell. Dawn of Majesty, how many packs do you think we've opened? I feel like it's been like 50 packs or something. One, two, three, four. It's been a lot, that's for sure. Going into Ship Daily Special, the Konomaly Temple, Margin Trading, Master Diplo Man, Konomaly, the Acrobo Figures, the Synthesis, Slower Swallow. Oh, that's a super rare. Okay, Magic Key, Mech Mortar, another super rare. Yeah, that's a super rare. Tactical Masters it is. We're at eight points. We've pulled one, what is it? Six Ultras and one Secret, something like that. Very interesting combo. We haven't pulled any high-end stuff. Fiend Grieving, Backjack, Invader Darkness. I guess I'm getting through these, you know, dud packs, which is good. Troll and Lockbird, that's not bad. Any Labyrinth Labyrinth. So Drone Lockbird's a good rare, but it's not really adding anything for this exercise. We have a Ghost from the Past. Let's get back to it. See if we can exercise our right to pull a Ghost Rare. Let's go. Can we pull something amazing? We have Mass Change, Royal Prison, Backup Secretary, the Metaphol's Goal Driver, and a Sunvine Thrasher. I got hope for a second because the firewall's in here as a Ghost Rare link, but wasn't quite there. Photon Hypernova. Gotta believe, guys. Is there something high rarity in these packs? One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have a Basil Trice, Casa Molar, Manifestation. We have a Galaxy Summoner, Abyss Script, Diablantis, the Galaxy 100, Intimidating Ore, and uh, Ultimate Great Insect. Hey, I love insects, guys. We've been using the Ultimate Great Moth recently, but I don't know. I don't know if this is good enough. All right, Dawn of Majesty, come on. Bless us with the Starlight Stardust. Any of these huge pulls, I'm going to be ecstatic if we pull those at the end. We have a Margin Trading. The Mystical Tree, we have the Gunkin Sioux Ships, the Despian Tragedy, Magic Unlocking, Figures, Aerial Picks 3, and another Ultra! Hey! It's our giant Bee Trooper! I forgot he was in here! Invincible Atlas, the Bee Trooper Tower card. This is the one that we've been using on Master Duel in our Ultimate Great Insect deck. That's pretty cool. I actually like that because we've been playing with it a lot. All right, that's officially nine points. Uh, three points away doesn't really matter because I think we are out of Ultimate Rare packs. So uh, we're going to have to pull something big anyway or just more Ultra Rares. We have Dragoonity, Mass Change. We have a Royal Prison, Backup Secretary, and uh, Time Thief Double Barrel again. Okay, more Ultra Rares. Legendary Duelist, Rage of Raw. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. 
you can pull something amazing. A Raw's Disciple, Token Sunday, Chaos Infinity, Reboot, and an Everlasting Alloy. You can pull something amazing, but apparently not right now. I'm about to cross over to 30 minutes of recording, and the video will be shorter, of course, because of editing, but... Uh, or at least if it ended right now, but we're about to cross into 30 minutes. That's insane. Surprise chain. As a Ruxin special, we have the Divine Dragon, General Probe, Reverse Jar, and Libromancer Prevented. Prevented from pulling anything good. Maze of Memories. Wow, this is, uh, this has gone on for a long time. I wasn't expecting to not pull anything for this long, like in terms of like higher rarity. Royal Decree, because we had a lot of packs. I figured we'd pull something, but apparently not. Pray the Jirai Gumo. Side beast. So we have pulled a lot of super rares. It's insane. Ghost from the past. I, I mean, I expected Ghost from the past. Like, it's probably unlikely we get something from this. So these are just kind of throwaway packs, but they are kind of Hail Mary packs. You know, it's like you either hit a home run or you strike out. That's just, oh, and that, honestly, that is a home run. Evenly matched. I forgot that was in here. Uh, doesn't count as any points, but it is a great card. Evenly matched. We will take that all day, every day. Legendary Duelist Rage or Raw, can you bless us with something good? Even the Egyptian God Slime, that's a $50 card, so I would love to pull that. Meta Reflect Slime, not that one, the Egyptian God Slime. Not that one either, but yeah, $50 card, and every time I put one up for sale, it sells like that, because so, I guess people are like really looking for that card or something, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually, it's gotta be like somewhat decent, or maybe they're just playing some meme deck and it's the only option, I don't know. Really not sure, we have Cash Jar, Big Bang, Galaxy Summoner, Casa Molar, Focused Aquamir, the Monocroid, Mantis, Core of Chaos, Gigantic Thundercross, and another super. Another super, guys. Another super. Nothing to worry. Oh, we have a lot of amazing defenders left. So, you know, if we're going to get an amazing pull, it'll be from amazing defenders. Wow. Give us something amazing. Here we go. Gives Mechorochi, Limiter Removal, Rescue Ace. That is a Ruxin special right there. We have Preparation of Rights, Rescue Ace, Fire Engine. Okay. Yeah, that's, eh, whatever. Dimension Force First Edition. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Can we get a Starlight Rare? One, two, three, four. Can we get a Starlight Rare? I want to pull it here. I want to pull it now. So we can end the video and it's not going to long to... It's not going to go too long, I should say. Not going to long to is what I said. Okay. It's not going to long to be pulled anymore. We have a Legendary Duelist Rage Raw. Come on. We're over 30 minutes. This is a long video. This is turning into a very long video. Mech Lord. We have the Mech Lord Army holding arms. Jinzo Returner. You guys will probably be like, wow, I really love this series. Long videos. <laughs> That's probably what's going to happen. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. They are long. We have Pendulum Fusion, Compulse, Trap Trick, Farewell Labyrinth, The Fiend Graving. Wait, did we get something? Pendulum Switch. And, oh, wait, no, it's like this every time, isn't it? Oh, but we did get something. Lovely Labyrinth of the Silver Castle. It's an ultra rare. Our 10th point, eight of them are ultra rares. One is a secret rare. What a weird way for this to play out. All right, lovely labyrinth, not a bad card. We'll take that. It's not like the good labyrinth. I think the silver labyrinth is the better one. I know the silver labyrinth is the better one. That was still like five bucks though. Time Thief Regulator, Photon Thrasher, and a Sunvine Thrasher. So a lot of Sunvine, a lot of whatever. Now let's go see if we can pull a collector rare out of Amazing Defenders. But I'm surprised if we pulled one secret rare. That's like insane. Like how have we only pulled one secret rare? That's pretty wild. Uh, Sacred Sword Scrolls. We won't be remedying that here because there are no secret rares in this set. We have an Impurly Plump. Wow. Okay, guys. This is uh, this is rough. Legendary Duelist Rage Raw. You can't even get secret rares, but you can get Ghost Rares. You can get Ultra Rares. Let's see. Metal Reflect Slime. Ooh, Rex and Special. Amplifier. Jinzo Returner. And a play scan. And that's technically an Ultra Rare. So we are now 11 points. We're one point away. We're going to get 10 Ultra Rares to do this. That's what's going to happen. This is insane. All right, we've got one more Ghost in the past. I might as well, you know, open it up since it is a burner pack. Let's see. I mean, maybe there's something in here. That'd be pretty amazing. Salman Great Foul, Terra's Atrishala, Meta Vols, Volflame, and a Starry Night Ceremony. Wow. So uh, we did get it, you know, at least an evenly matched out of there, but nothing too crazy. Next up, Rage of Raw. Been pretty good for it. I mean, pulled a lot of stuff, but nothing too insane. Holding legs and Resolute Mech Lord Army with the slime. I feel like this is so unlikely for it to play out like this. Like, Ultimate Rares aren't that hard to pull out of those packs. Like, Collector Rares aren't that hard to pull. We need a little bit of luck, but it feels like we had pretty bad luck in terms of actually pulling stuff. Bear Blocker, Duelist Alliance. We have a Reckless Greed. Runic Droplet. Okay. Not not Forbidden Droplet. Um, that would be pretty good. Power oh, Majesty. Come on. End it with the Starlight Stardust. Let's do this. Any Starlight, though. It didn't have to be the Stardust. It would be pretty insane. We have Retin, the Heavenly General. A Maze Attraction. Oh, Ruxin Special. Branded Bond. Gusto Vidrier. Two Toads with One Sting. That's pretty funny. Slower Swallow. Tailwind. 
Springins. Stall turn. We're stalling our turn. We're stalling the end of this video. That's for sure. Photon Hypernova. Oh, wow. This is uh, this is weird. I mean, I think this is still fun. I, it's just playing out in a weird way. So I don't know. I think I think you guys will still enjoy it. A couple of aces. We have Infinite, Fierce Tiger. Let's just see if we can end it on a bang. Shell of Chaos, Dynamondo. End up with way more than 12 points. That'd be cool. We have a Chaos Mirage Dragon. Amazing Defenders. Can you give us an amazing pull? I've been asking. I'm just saying one, two. We have the uh, Tribal Rivals, the Gugiz Makarochi, Stray Pearly. I feel like we got something here. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. Rescue. I just didn't Ruxin Special. That's why I thought we got something. So used to Ruxin Special. Like, Maze of Memories. Maybe this can end it with a Gate Guardian. Here we go. Maybe a Baron de Fleur. Zephyros, Nimble Angler. Well, that was a Super Ruxin Special right to the Super Rare. Super right to the Super. Makes sense. Rage or Raw. Come on, end it here with a Ghost Rare. Come on. You got to believe, guys. Got to believe that we can get a Gosher. We have Mechlord Emperor, the Resolute Mechlord Army, Boon of the Mechlord Emperor. No, oh, more so many Mechlords, it's not even funny. Photon, we are actually getting toward the end of my packs. Like, I had thought there was no way. Like, I'm pretty sure I had like 100 packs, something like that. So, we have opened a lot of packs. Dalio Springins, Tenchi. We just haven't pulled any high rarity. It's crazy. Chaos Beast, Core Chaos. Bucephalus, the second? I don't know. That's crazy. No way. I actually needed this card. Maybe for the lab deck? I can't remember. It might have been the Trap Tricks deck. Oh, we pulled a Starlight Rare. So we're going to end with 21 points. We only needed 12. So we had 11 points. We're one point away. We finally pulled something high rarity, and it's a Starlight Rare. Wow. Okay. I was a little like, ah, oh, this is weird because we're not going to pull any Collector Rares, Ultimate Rares, you know, all the stuff, Ghost Rares, all the stuff we wanted to pull in this video. But then we pulled the highest possible rarity, a Starlight Rare. Whoa. I was not even expecting that. I was like just talking about something else i don't even remember what i was saying what a video hopefully you guys stuck around the entire time if you did i hope you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to the channel if you did shout out to tone Fo show daxter jt cho puffins of doom ernesto deanda dizzy hoppus choice 333 mycycle james jance tcg trust of cards america deutzer supreme sage 21 and then the tie show ian musa junior barding mimic gecko and thomas mcclain thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace